Hello everyone, Free Range Art Farm. My name is Thomas. If you turn around behind you, that's Lulu on the camera. Good job. So today we're gonna install uh, three nukes. We actually ordered two and then they talked us into a third by saying we have extra. So we're gonna install three nukes today and we're gonna take you through the process. So I'm just gonna get the smoker lit and we'll get some things ready and show you how to install a nuke. So stand by and drop the tool. Are you recording? Maybe. Well, good thing that hive tool is ceracoded? Ceracoded? Ceramicoded? Ceramicoded. There's a brand name for it. Uh huh? It's our Honeystead tool we got from, well, the Honeystead. <laughs> <laughs> I promise, he is smart. He uh -huh. just doesn't always show it. Yeah, having trouble getting my gloves on. See my nice little hive tool? Ooh. Ooh. Pity. Okay. Um, all right, got our smoker lit. All right, so I guess we'll just start with the, the purple hive. So a nuke is um, a nucleus colony, if you don't know what that is. It's really just kind of a smaller hive. So it's one that was started this spring, and it has five frames of comb with hopefully bees filling it up. Uh, so we've got two eight-frame boxes and a 10-frame box. So I've left three frames in the eight-frame boxes and five frames in the 10-frame box. So we're gonna get some bees installed. Did you get a shot of these nuke boxes? Oh these yeah, are, are these cool looking? These are high quality things. Yeah, so. So we picked up our nukes from Scottsville Supply Look in Virginia. Look at their front door. Isn't that cute? Scottsville Supply. No, wait, what? Scottsville Supply Company, I think is what it's called. It's in Scottsville, Virginia. Yeah. Um, they're a couple hours away from us. Pretty drive. It is a pretty drive. So, I think in honor of the purple lidded hive, we'll put that in purple hive. Yep. So, I've never taken any of these lids off, so we'll see how that goes. Bring this, these girls. Over here. Don't you just like open the front door and then they all just like march out? <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? That's how that works, right? All right, so what I'm gonna do, I think, is we'll put a little smoke in the front door here. That got their attention. I hear them. Right. You guys won't be able to hear because it it's really windy out here today, which is not ideal, but we had to wait until later in the afternoon. You keep going. All right, so I'm just gonna take this lid off and we'll see what we've got. Oh, there they Ooh. are. I'm checking under the lid. There's only one little girl, no queen. So that's good. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see, I shouldn't even need. There we go. Oops. Can you hear that? Like they're singing. Yeah. So all I'm going to do is take these frames out one by one. So I'm going to put my glasses on because I just want to look and see what I can see so far. And I'm going to put them in the box in the same order that I took them out of the nuke. So we got some pollen here on this frame. Any sign of a queen? Oh, oh, oh. What? Right there. I do not see a queen there. Oh, I saw a big <clears throat> bundle of bees, so I thought maybe. I just see some nectar on this frame. So this is looking good. So we'll get this in the box. Easy peasy. Just like that. Actually, I'm gonna take these, this frame out. Make it easier. Frame out to give us room. Yeah, that's smart. Just like that. I don't think we did last time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they're super docile. Yeah, these are some good girls. All right. So, of course, there's no sunlight, so I can't see if there's any eggs. But this is a frame that would have eggs because it's got some capped brood. I think I see some larvae, but I don't have enough light. We don't see a queen. We don't have to find the queen today. 
Well, there's lots of good bees. And look at how calm these girls are. Yeah, just so Just based chill. on how calm they are, they have a queen. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, there's one of them that was a much higher pitch, we'll say singing, um, when we got here. So we're guessing that one we're a little concerned about. With... Yeah, they probably they probably have a queen, but they were just maybe they're just a little bit more maybe a antsy. Little no pun intended. Lots of good brood on this. This is almost covered in brood. Good brood pattern too. They're doing the waggle dance. Oh, they shouldn't be. <laughs> oh. They don't know where anything is. They might be doing a waggle dance for where they were. Maybe it just looks like it. Yeah. Oh, I see eggs. There's some eggs in the bottom. Oh, of yay! The spring here. So I don't know if you can see the very bottom. And there's eggs in there, and that means we had a queen at least within the past three days. You got a girl on you. Okay, but I don't see a queen. That's okay. Same Where's now. the girl? Oh, hi, sweetie. Okay, we'll put this in nice and gentle, and then slide that up. Perfect. All right, two more frames. Take this out. Not a lot of brood on this one, so she's still working on this frame. But look, yeah, they're just so chill. Yeah. No pun intended, because it is kind of chilly today. So we're not going to take too long doing this. No queen yet. <clears throat> I see a lot of smaller girls, so we have lots of good nurse bees. Oh wait, look at this. See these girls right here that are kind of pale? Yeah. They're newborns. Oh. They're within a couple days old. Neat. Okay, let's get them inside. Oh. Last one. Last one. Not any, oh, not hardly any anybody. So she's definitely not on this one. Well, Most she could be on that side, not. but. Hmm. Yeah, she was on one of the other frames. Yeah. But again, I'm not concerned that I didn't see her because we saw eggs. So, we'll put them in there. Tighten those up. And we had a couple frames left over from last year that have some honey stores well yeah some good honey stores so that'll keep these girls fed for a few days while they're looking for food another frame with some honey stores on it get that in there take our little hive tool and center these up That is pretty much it. The girl that was on the lid has gone off. There's almost nobody down here. Oh, a couple of stragglers. A couple of them. So I'm just going to set them right in front here. And they'll make their way into the hive. I'm going to put a little entrance reducer on the front. And uh, we'll get this covered up. Also, I'm going to put on a feeder on this one and the yellow hive. We did not plan to get the third newt, so I don't have a third feeder. But they have lots of sugar, sugar stores. This is just a little extra in case they need it. A gallon of one-to-one -one sugar syrup with some honey bee healthy mixed in. Okay, let's go on before any girls go in there. there. Yep. There we go. Got cover on there. A little crooked. Squared up. Top is squared up. Oh, 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 oh. It's fine. Messing up there. It's fine. It's not fine. Who hired you? You. Oh my gosh. I was drinking that day. Do you need some help? Yeah. You. 
Uh-huh. Oh, no. you know what part of the problem is? Oh my is? goodness, you? Yeah, me. Why am I screwing up on this so bad? Okay, there you go. Straight down. You got this. I have total faith in you. Oh well. That may have been unfounded. So I'm gonna put these in again in the order that they're coming out. They're already capping honey. Oh I wow. See eggs on this frame. So holy cow. Again, I see eggs on this frame and capped honey, some pollen. So wow. the eggs are in here. I'm not gonna be see. able to I'm gonna put a shadow right on that. Right, so. That's okay, but we have eggs. So we have a queen as recently as three days ago. <laughs> She's a good queen. We use our honeystead hive tool to split this one apart because that's this one's a little bit connected to the other one. There we go. Alright girls. This one's got some good cap brood, eggs, larvae. Girls flying. You're okay. Still no queen spotted, but again. That's okay. And final, okay. last and final frame. Some brood on this one as well. Yeah, this colony is gonna gonna explode, I think, pretty soon. Yeah. A lot of activity in the bottom of this box too. Yeah. them in there. You got one on your right thumb. Oh, hi, sweetie. Hi, little girl. Let me get you back. There you go. Come on. Good girl. Final box. All right. You ready? You're a movie star now. These girls a bit of a smoke. Since we didn't do the last ones and they were slightly grumpy. I'll take these two frames out. So this box is different. Yes, this box is different. Let's see if I made these. Oh, look at you. I didn't realize that's what that was. Yeah, but I made them just a little bit too wide. <laughs> that's what he, so, she said. Wait, no, he said, she said, she yeah. said. Um, so well, could if, I, he. if I don't get it quite centered, it'll fall down. <laughs> uh, so I should have been a little bit, done a little bit better measuring, but all right. So measure twice, cut once. Oh, I always cut twice and measure none. Just yeah. gonna guess. Ooh, bunch on the top. Yeah. What's going sure on there's, there? They're just making building a little comb. Uh -huh. Just make sure there's no queen here. Okay, no queen. Yeah, so this is a Hoover hive. Um which is just a 10, this one's a 10 frame box, but it's been wax dipped. So the entire box is submerged in, in melted wax. What kind of wax? Beeswax. 100%. Neat. Real beeswax. Pollen. I'm not wearing my glasses, quite, so I can't see if there's eggs. <laughs> Why'd you take them off? Because I can't walk around with them on. Do you want help putting them back on? No, I'll do it. Thank you, though. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Glasses on, all right. That wasn't as smooth as it could have been. What happened? They got grumpy. Oh. Maybe it's that time of the month for them. Yeah, maybe. You know how they all get in sync. I'm trying to see eggs. Sorry if I'm not angling this towards you, but... Oh, you're fine. I'm pretty sure you guys see. Who? This one meeting with the fuzz on top of the camera. Well, not meeting. 
this that we blew fiber. See how it's starting in the middle and then getting wider as it goes around. <laughs> and then you can see there's larva in here and then probably eggs just a little bit wider out. So that's a really good brood pattern. Yeah. So we'll put this one in. Oh, that's a really good. She's a good laying queen too. And I see larva, eggs. These girls are popping me a little Whoa, bit. Whoa, check this, flip it back. Go hmm. back. Right it's here. It's just a little comb, a bridge. I know, but it looks like a little, there's a bee on the lens. Okay, oh. there we go. <laughs> so it looks like a little volcano that they've built and they're on top of it. It's just gonna it's still be on the lens. <sighs> just wants to be a star. Yes, you're a star. <laughs> All right, I see a little queen cup here. Um, but I don't see anything in it. Let's see. Can you see this little cup right here? That's a little queen cup. I'm going to squish it. And actually, there is some jelly in there. Oh. So they might not be happy with their queen. Although she seems to be doing a great job. So maybe they started building it before they were super thrilled with her. We'll see. You've got like seven bees on you right now. I know. I'm going to smoke myself and you after we're done here. Yeah. But this, they should be happy with this queen. She oh, is doing a great job. Oh, going on right here. Yeah. That's the other side of that volcano, I think. Yep. Obviously, the same volcano. It's a new volcano. No, I think it's the other side. These two frames were next to each other. Oh, 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 got it. Yeah. I just, yeah I just, See, I forget about that. Yeah. They go from one frame to another when they build sometimes. Yep. This has capped honey. Look at these oh, girls. Nice. Good girls. Thank you. Beautiful babies. These girls do not need any supplemental sugar syrup because. We've got three frames of sugar syrup for them. All right, well, we're zero for three spotting queens, but we're three for three spotting evidence of queens. So that is good news. Uh, so yay, we have bees in our apiary again. This is very exciting. Um, so the nuke install went really simple and easy. It's a pretty quick thing to do. Uh, the girls seem the purple hive girls seem pretty calm. The yellow and the Hoover hive are a little bit more aggressive, but they also, I think, had more stores to protect. Um, we did not see any of the queens, but we saw eggs in all of the hives. So I think we're queen right everywhere. So that's good news. No? Yeah. What? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, we're still on our bee what are we, these things, the bee hoods, the bee veils, because bee veils. these girls were not happy. Your backhand. What about my backhand? There's bees on my back. No, it left. Mm. Binch, binch. Ah! <gasps> <laughs> mm. I love you. I love you. I love you. Right there, right there. I love you. Shut that was me, I stung you. So thanks for checking in with us, guys, <laughs> on this terribly cold, windy Virginia day. Um, I don't think I said it's April 22nd, and it's 54 degrees. Earth Day! Woo! Yeah, Earth Day, and it's freezing and cold because of global warming. But we got bees! But we have bees again. Yeah. So we had it's a nice a little road trip. Earth Day. Yeah, we had a nice little road trip down to Scottsville, Virginia, and we got our bees. Yep. And, uh, yeah. We got our garden planned today, too, so I'm wicked excited about that and learned we have persimmon trees on the property. So. And yeah. other things. And other things, too. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for checking in with us guys hope we'll see you next time yeah. be, be good. good be happy be well be mischievous Ooh, that's a new one <laughs> thanks guys we'll see you next time Mwah. bye